to get united. Like, what we got to do is meet everybody in 149th Street at the bench. by bombingscience.com and they gave me a couple cans in order to test out see how they work and see how I like them if you guys are interested in picking up some flame orange I got a link to that in the description down below but if you want to pick up some other stuff in bombing science I have a link to just the site itself down below as well now I do want to talk a little bit more about this can and like the details about it and all that it says here it has high output and essentially what that means is when you press the cap down a lot of paints gonna come out now that's great for getting nice clean fill-ins because it covers well when you have a lot more paints up there but it also also helps with flares. Quick side note, the tip to flare is to allow the paint to catch onto the wall. And having a high output allows for that to happen because a lot of paint is going towards that wall. Makes sense, right? But this can also has variable pressure. And that's going to give you the versatility right there in order to really rock the can how you see fit. You can use it for nice clean lines and stuff like that. Or you can use it for real broad, fat, and beautiful stroke. Now going back to the coverage of this paint, it certainly covers in one coat. However, you may have some issue with the lighter colors. Now I only have four colors here out of the massive selection that they have. And the majority of the colors that I have are pretty dark. Dark colors tend to cover easier. They tend to cover better. As to where a light color like yellow or white or, you know, light green or whatever the case is, just a lighter color tends to struggle a little bit more. So I would be curious to test out more of the lighter colors just to see how their coverage is. But once again, I only have four cans here. Now with that said, buffing this took about two to three coats of buff paint in order to actually fully effectively cover this, which that's pretty good. But as you guys saw in the video, I was able to get super thin lines with a skinny cap that were extremely easy to control. And with a fat cap, I was able to get it to be pretty skinny as well as fade into a real nice flare. So the can is very easy to control. Overall, in a nutshell, would I recommend this paint? Yes or no? The answer is gonna be yeah. It has a great selection of colors. From my limited experience with the low amount of colors I have, it does cover very well. It controls amazingly. It's easy to control. I can flare with it. I can cut lines easy with it. So it's overall just a well-rounded good can. I like it. And I think it's worth noting that their large selection of colors does cover multiple shades of each color. This would allow you to go ahead and blend and fade into a different color and have a lot of different variations in your piece or whatever it is you're using the spray paint for. So I would definitely recommend this paint, without a doubt. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna bring us to the end of today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, go crazy on that like button. It doesn't seem like much, but it always helps me out a bunch. For those of you guys that are new here, feel free to subscribe. We come out with weekly art videos. And this can range from a wide variety of things. We have tutorials, we have speed paintings for traditional oil paintings, we got graffiti. So by subscribing, you'll get those videos directly to your subscription box. Anyway, I'll catch you guys next time, but until then, peace. 
Welcome to the end card, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you long-term viewers enjoyed today's video. The fact that I was finally able to bring you guys a piece is really exciting for me. For you guys who are long-time viewers, you guys know why it's so exciting. And for those of you guys who are new viewers, I was monitored for the past seven years, so I wasn't able to paint for seven years. So it was super exciting to rock a straight letter for you guys. It really was. Anyway, if you guys want some extra content, I got a playlist up here of more of my content. But if you'd like to see an artist whose work I enjoy here on YouTube, you can always check out this video right here. There's a bunch of amazing artists in this site, and I feel like some of them deserve as many eyes as humanly possible in order to watch their stuff. They're absolutely phenomenal artists. Anyway, I'll get out of your guys' hair. I'll see you guys next time.